As an investor, widespread fear is your friend since it serves up inexpensive acquisitions. Whether it's socks or stocks, I want to purchase high quality goods at a discount. The finest thing that may happen to us is when a great business experiences brief difficulties. When they are on the operating table, we want to purchase them. The majority of individuals get interested in stocks when everyone else does. When no one else is interested, that is when you should start. You cannot purchase what is in demand and succeed. Pessimism is frequently to blame for cheap costs. It can be ubiquitous or specialized to a firm or industry. Not because we enjoy pessimism, but because we enjoy the prices it generates, we prefer to conduct business in such a setting. Charlie Munger and I have bought and managed a wide range of firms for 25 years, but we still haven't figured out how to handle challenging business issues. We now know to stay away from them. When it seems easiest to speculate, it is most perilous. Keep it straightforward and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Say no immediately in response to promises of quick gains. Half of all coin flippers will win their first toss, but none of those victors expects to make money if he keeps playing the game. When opportunities present themselves, you take action. In my life, there have been times when a ton of ideas have come to me, and there have also been protracted dry periods. Next week, if I have an idea, I'll act on it. If not, I'm not going to do a thing. The richest people would be librarians if all that was required to play the game of money was knowledge of the past. The growth of yesterday does not benefit the investor of today. History teaches us that people don't take lessons from it. Not following our passions out of avarice is absolutely terrible life management. We simply try to be greedy only when others are scared and fearful only when others are greedy. Money isn't everything, though. Before you say something so ridiculous, be sure you're well off. People who own cash equivalents now feel secure. They ought not. They chose a bad long-term investment that pays next to nothing and will inevitably lose value. So, when you see the headline investors lose as market collapses, smile. Change that to disinvestors lose as market falls but investors win in your head. There is a buyer for every seller. And what hurts one necessarily benefits the other, despite the fact that writers frequently overlook this reality. Who has been swimming naked is only revealed after the tide recedes. Building the ark is what counts, not predicting rain. The upcoming years will occasionally bring about significant market drops, possibly even panics which will impact almost all stocks. Nobody can predict when these dramas will happen. Neither Charlie Munger nor I am bothered by this. In fact, we benefit from such price drops if we have the money to expand our positions. The best time to invest money is when things are bad. Investors have been in an opportune time frame since fear is their closest buddy at the moment. 
Investors that only make investments when analysts are optimistic wind up paying dearly for empty certainty. Associating with smarter individuals is preferable. Choose friends and colleagues who behave better than you do, and you'll veer that way. Among the millionaires I've met, wealth simply brings out their core characteristics. They are still jerks with a billion dollars if they were jerks before they acquired money. It takes 20 years to establish a reputation, but only 5 to destroy one. You will act differently if you consider that. If the company loses money, I will understand. I'll be harsh if the company loses even the slightest bit of repute. No matter how much money you have in the bank, your life would be a tragedy if you reach my age and no one likes you. You'll essentially gauge your success in life at my age by how many of the people you want to be in your life fall in love with you. I've always known I'd be wealthy. I don't believe I ever had any doubts about it. As long as you don't do too many things wrong, you just need to do a very small number of things well in your life. Honesty is an extremely costly gift. Don't expect it from folks who are cheap. Wall Street is the only location where individuals drive a Rolls Royce to seek advice from others who use the subway. When Wall Streeters are paid exorbitant fees to handle trillions of dollars, it is typically the managers rather than the clients that make enormous profits. Someone planted a tree a long time ago, and today someone is sitting in the shade. If you're among the fortunate 1% of people, you owe it to the remaining 99% of people to consider their plight. Really successful people say no to practically everything, which is what separates them from successful people. You must maintain control over your time, and you cannot do so unless you learn to say number. You cannot allow others to dictate your life's goals. The most successful business people are those that pursue their passions as a profession. Extraordinary outcomes can be achieved without doing extraordinary things. You keep doing the same things and receiving the same result, you know, over and over again. I'll tell you who you'll become if you tell me who your heroes are. Choosing the correct heroes was the best thing I did, until they become too heavy to break. Chains of habit are too light to be felt. Investors must keep in mind that excitement and costs are their adversaries. Investing in yourself is the most important investment you can make.